Hi. I've made this scene up more or less. It's from a, based on a, something I did many years ago. I don't know where the original's gone. I've probably sold it to some, some exhibition or other. But it just shows a sort of a, an Essex scene. We've got a sort of a, a, a Thames barge here. Um, I don't want any criticism from, from ex boat experts. There's a photo I took of uh, in Pim Mill, I think this was. We went on a cruise down the, the Orwell, I think, the Ipswich, on one of these boats. It was a celebration from a brother in Orwell, a lovely day. Fabulous things. But you can make, you can make views up when you run out of uh, photographs that you don't want to use. You can use your own paintings, which is what I'm doing at the moment. Yeah. I doodled these years ago, so I'm more or less doodling this one here. I want a fairly light horizon here, so that anything I put on it will show, show up. I want to put boats on the hard along here. They're just boat houses, just cottages, pub, pub, something going on. In an Essex or Suffolk type landscape, seascape, I hope this is uh, quite waterproof. It's supposed to be waterproof, but did one yesterday and, and, and the paint wasn't, or the ink wasn't quite dry. So uh, I'm going to just put that in. I'll add detail as and when I can, but I want a, a faint background here against the light sky. I'm going to use, I, I keep my skies, as you know, as simple as possible. I will begin by wetting the paper first. This is a Fabriano 15 inches by 11 from Arts Discounts, known as Grantham's. It's a good paper for this, this sort of work and it's, it comes in nice, convenient, economic blocks of 100 sheets. So it doesn't make you stingy with it. Have a go. You're bound to get casualties, we all do. And you can always paint in acrylic or oil on top of it. It's a good surface for that sort of painting. Uh, this is my palette, lemon yellow, uh, raw sienna, a little crimson, light red, ultramarine, Payne's grey, uh, burnt over Payne's grey, burnt sienna. And I'm going to put in a, a liberal amount of burnt sienna in the sky area. This, this counts for the the light in the sky, draw it over here, and a, a, a blush of it on on the calm water here, the sea. And now I'm going to put in a mix of Payne's Grey and Ultra, quite quite fairly dry. Well, there's a relative time, but it takes the the intensity out of the the blue. So I want to leave this light, this section of light in the middle. And as you come to the horizon, your colour gets fainter, of course. A bit of perspective. So a nice bright sort of day. Let's just clean off that. So a bit of spare water there. The thing about painting uprights like this is that gravity does tend to pull everything down. But it gives a pleasing look and it could always be a bit of a squall just coming out of heavier clouds. But I, I will put in a darker note at the top, a bit of light red in with that as well. So it almost looks like a school now with a darker cloud on the top. Always a bit risky with the amount of water because gravity will take over. A good angle for your board would be 30 degrees. You wouldn't get all this running down. Um, I'm just taking off the excess here. Put that blue down. I don't want, I want to dry that off a bit. Just fix it. Mm -hmm. 
I've uh, dried it off so that when I put my distant landscape in, it doesn't bleed into the surrounding wet paper. It will soak in because it's still damp, but uh, I don't want to want to lose it. You know, it's going to be very faint, darker than, than what's behind it. Uh, it's probably getting a bit too dark. So this would do for the countryside. Uh, nice and light. Dry off that. Uh, I wanted that quite light there, so I was just just dry that out. So, a bit of a heavy shower earlier, and it's just turned into a beautiful day now. Right, that that I'll, I'll put in just a touch of uh, sienna in there. Real sooner than it is just. So a bit of bit of beach. In the, well, in the distance, just the other side of the uh, the hard, uh, the um, the horizon. Some years ago, we went to the Thames barge race. Thames barge. It was a brightening sea. I've got some photographs of, of the boats. But they were so distant in my camera. It was lovely. They, they, they call it a race, but they only go about one mile an hour. I did a sail, two miles on a slight, slight breeze. But wonderful to see. Now, I'm going to put in some trees in the background there. So I want that slightly warmer. So I'll use paint grey, not paint grey, ultramarine and burnt sienna. Let's just put those in there. Just fill this little gap on the horizon. Put a little bit darker there. To use a piece of cloth to take off the excess moisture, I want the paint there to, to be quite hard, quite thick. Right, that'll do for some uh, trees in the countryside beyond the houses or the buildings. Now we'll, the light is coming, I'll say, say there, so a bit, a bit of shadow there, so I'll put just a little bit of shadow on, on there and as it comes into the uh, the light, just sort of a bit of sandy beachy stuff, Good, fairly light. We have a bit of, bit of grass. Down here, like now a bit of uh, a bit of beachy stuff. Um, burnt sienna, uh, burnt umber is a good. Sandy, muddy colour. But what's the water on your brush? A bit of blue in there.
Now I'm going to put in some cloud reflection in that water, in that sort of shack water there. Let's merge it. Leave some some lights in the, in, in the water just to show some, some some not waves but just some darker against light. So this is the sky coming in in there, and I can detail all around here afterwards with uh, bits of mud and so let's. Uh, Bit of sandy, muddy colour in, in there. Right, we'll let that go for a minute. And while that is uh, drying off a little bit, I might drag over that with some dry brush. I'll have to put the ref a bit of a reflection. I probably should have done that instead of what I've done. But no. Right, so with my half inch flat, I'll, I'll use uh, ready type roofs, but fairly faint. They're in the sun. Sure. Right. And behind there. Don't like to do that. I just want it simply stated. That would be a bit of clapboard, but we'll, so we'll put it in in a bit of bit of light light grey there. I think so it separates itself from the actual black on the, the real shadow side. Oops. This isn't, um, this, this is the clapboard I'm trying to just sort of show here, I'll just put a bit down a bit. And then here, we'll, uh, that's quite dark there, but uh, I'll put that in an off-white, why not, just to make it a bit different. That's, that's that's more than more than enough for for our purpose. Uh, now I'm I'm going to put in some mast over here. Then I'll think about how I'm going to do the uh, the brown sails on this thing here. Some, some boats there. Move my camera a little bit, oops, so I can see it. I should have really just dry brushed all that, but uh, that's, that's not going to be easy now. 
This is a slight buckle in the paper there. on this post on the hard here. Detail, nothing really, just put in some uh, masks again. Okay. All just adds a bit of a bit of interest. Now I'm going to uh, Bert Sienna a bit of light red, darken it a little bit. That's a sail that would be pulled up into there. Another sail that would drop down there, and then we've got a lot of this here. for the tide. Quite a bit of that. Here. And a bit. But there, just put a bit of dark in there for shadow. as we can. Just some line. Uh, that should have been there. We'll have to clean that out now. Dry brush, bit of uh, grey and bit of bit of blue. Darker. 
Oh, that's not too bad. Brush was a bit, a bit hard, a bit uh, wet. Let's just fix some of that in. Right. We accept that you haven't made such a great job of the water. I'm going to put in some uh, darker notes on, on there just to show, on the uh, edge of the shore, just to show sort of the tide mark. Some, uh, some greys here. With the edge of the rigger, which is still wet, just put in some some detail, just some grassy bits and pieces. Now we'll uh, Oh, I haven't put the mast in the boat. That was quite a light colour. Like a, a light oak colour. So let's just put that in, put that in from out there. Right, that will do. I'll get in some... Uh, Just for a moment, let's get a bit of white Oops. and put in some distant sails. I'll use some a bit of gouache, a bit of white gouache, a tiny bit, because I'm not going to use much of it. I 
I know, it's cheating. It doesn't really show against that background, but... Well, just enough. Put some just a little uh, little oops to to dial that. Light's coming that way, so a little bit of shadow on the edge of these. A bit too much, maybe. That's the problem. If you're going to put sails, white sails against a light background, it doesn't really work. Maybe you should have done the background just a little bit darker. But anyway, I can see them. Um, so I'll sign that and I'll put it in a mount and we'll see what we've done. I don't really see those in that one. Barge in Suffolk. Thames Barge in Suffolk. That's sort of the title. Well, I hope you enjoyed that. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.